Well, here's something I never thought I'd say. I'm excited to be back in Ohio. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and yes, Nathan and I are back in Ohio with our friend Jabez. He's in the back and we're out musky fishing. It is markedly nicer than it was last time. If you saw those videos, uh, I will link those or I'll put those in the description down below. We did all right. We got some fish, but it was cold. It was 30 degrees. It was, it was freezing. It was miserable. It is beautiful out today. So hopefully we can get some fish going. Our friend Cody Dalton, who we fished with last time, he is out here with one of his clients, and he, uh, his client actually got a fish. So let's take a look at that because Cody had his chat or his uh, head cam going. Yeah. <clears throat> or a big fish. Like I like trolling big fish water where there's not a lot of fish, but trying to cover a lot of water to catch a big fish. A couple of the guys. Part of the crew called the NMA Niagara Muskie Association. Yeah. Is that a fish? That's a fish, ain't it? Stay on it. Bring it up. Let me get the net out of here. You got him. Don't lose that fish. Yep, you got him. Bring him here. Yeah. He probably hit it. <clears throat> He's unhooked too. Hey, they told me use the bondy. That's why it's gonna be switching, baby. <laughs> that fish hit at it. Did you feel him thump oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. He thumped, thumped it, yeah. dude. Yeah. He thumped it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet. The home bait, dude. Emerald shiner. <laughs> I'll show you an emerald bondy in here that's just destroyed. Just like that. Good to go. You want to measure it or? Huh? Sure, why not? Okay. I'm gonna come over here. What'd you say? Yeah. Zip tie through the fin. About 34, because that mark right there is 35, so yeah, 33 and a half. Make sure you smell your hand when you get one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Yeah, no problem, man. That's sick. Really I'm keeping that bait on. <laughs> so that's cool. They got a fish. We are going to see if we can do that as well. Um, we've got 50, mid 50 degree water temps. We are going to be fishing some riprap here with medusas and minnow baits and that sort of thing. So with that, let's get after it. All right, I'm gonna start out with an eight inch Custom X Mini. This is kind of my Eagle Lake special, but I'm gonna see if I can make this into an Ohio special. Throw in this uh, with a 400 Tranks, nine foot surgical strike, 2020 rod. And Nathan is throwing the same exact rod and reel set up with a, what do you got? Five inch Mini with a killer tail. Five inch Mini with a killer tail. So we're just tossing up on these rocks here, trying to bang the rocks initially and see if we can pull some fish off of it. There you go. Going to the pounder. Pounder. Gonna see all kinds of fish in there. Oh, you got a fish, you got a fish, you got a fish. Did you see him? No. He was he was low dude, he was there though. That was a fish. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. That's all right. I was trying to drop it down. Yeah. He was, I could just barely see the, yeah. yep. I, uh, yeah. Right on the rip of it must have been. Yeah. Yeah. She was, I wonder if that's her right there. Yeah. Probably. Oh, that's why you couldn't see. You don't have your glasses on. Yeah, because yeah, I, I could just barely see her. Good, yeah. Fish, 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 fish. yeah. Yeah, 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 yep. I just barely saw it. Just barely saw it. Was he hot on it? Yeah, a little guy, though. But it's all right. He was right on it. I was freaking... just had a little one. Just, just now. now. I was like, I don't know, 30 inch or 32. Yeah. Yeah, you said something. I looked down and I saw the bucktail double eight. <laughs> well, it seems my funny little quip making fun of Ohio has backfired on me uh, because a we haven't really caught anything, and b Jabez has been making fun of us uh, for liking beer, cheese, and supper clubs. So that's. Uh, that gives you a little snapshot of our day. Uh, we have had a couple follows. It's just, I don't know. It, it, the wind's blowing into these rocks. The fish seem to be here. We just can't get them to hit. So uh, it looks like uh, we've got about an hour left. So hopefully we can get something to bite in that time that we have. Well, today's lack of fish wasn't for lack of trying. We tried just about everything. I was throwing top water at the end of the day, uh, which made sense to us. We had mid to upper 50 degree water in some of the spots we were targeting. Nate had a fish following on a bucktail, so uh, we tried fishing a marina. We saw some fish back there. I, we literally tried everything you can try, and we still couldn't put a fish in the boat. Luckily, uh, Cody and his client, Joe Klasik, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Joe. Uh, Joe got a nice fish, so uh, that's what I have for the video today. I hope you enjoyed that fish uh, from Cody's camera. And we're gonna try a different lake tomorrow, so we're not giving up. We're gonna see if we can get one of these Ohio fish to eat. So we need to get back, get some sleep, get some food, and get at it tomorrow. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.